The number one biggest problem when it comes to working remote is the fact that it's pretty lonely. But here's five tips that's gonna make it a lot easier for you and your coworkers to be friends. All right, now that you and your coworkers are working from home, it's gonna be a lot harder for you to build real bonds and relationships with them. However, there's a few ways that you can make this process easier. Tip number one, in all of your meetings, go ahead and start off with just personal, polite, normal, friendly conversation, even more than you would do in a normal business meeting. Don't get right to the details every time you get into your meetings because, well, people are people and you need to connect with them. Tip number two, you also wanna go ahead and set aside some time, some actual meetings, for just fun. So in addition to where you have your normal scheduled meetings, you may also want to maybe replace one of those occasionally, like once a month, with just fun talk time where you and your team can bond about what's going on in their lives. Tip number three, in addition to your team meetings, you wanna also make sure that other teams are coming together occasionally to just bond and have fun. A great way to do this is to have people meet over things that they're interested in that has nothing to do with their work or their department. So as an example, you could have people meet once a week for cooking, or to play games, or to meet about learning a new language. Just something that isn't related to their job, and therefore can bring lots of people together from all across your company to just have fun and be passionate about whatever it is that they're interested in. Tip number four. In addition to meeting people digitally, you also want to encourage people to meet physically. And I know that that seems backwards when we're talking about remote work, but People are still people and people travel. So if you or one of your coworkers is gonna be going to a city where another coworker happens to be, well, as a company, you should go ahead and pay for their dinner or for some drinks, just for them to go and meet up and bond and actually connect with each other. Finally, tip number five. You wanna get everyone together once a year, if possible, in the same place physically. There's no real replacement for being in person with your coworkers. Those bonds are something that you can only build when you actually shake somebody's hand. However, in this environment where everyone is now having to work remote, there's some things that we can do to make the process a lot easier. By following some of these tips, you and your coworkers can actually be friends and not just digital entities that call each other when they need something. I hope this was helpful for you, and if it was, please go ahead and subscribe below. Also, like this video and let me know how working remote has been working out for you. Alright, well as always, thank you so very much for watching this video and have a wonderful day.